The CEO of the French hotel company, Accor, says the hospitality industry is alive and well and things are looking a lot less gloomy than they were this time a year ago. Sébastien Bazin spoke to Richard, who asked what kinds of guests are returning to hotels these days. Uh, the mecca will be smaller groups, but people have a huge necessity to be back together, bonding, seeing each other, just sick and tired of working remotely. And how long that's going to last, I don't know. But they, that notion of physically being back is super important within each of the firms. But as, a, as opposed to have a 500 internal Congress, you're going to have 10 groups of 50 people in 10 different countries, which is good for my business, by the way. Um, and again, I, I see a lot of people who want to reconquest business, small, medium-sized enterprises, they're back on the road to seduce, to charm, and to get contracts. So, which is what I'm telling you, anything which is less than two nights, not too costly, less than four hours ride or narrow body airplane, that's back. Uh, and we know that already. Now, what do you need? So, if that's the scenario, and we are going into what could be a difficult winter, for travel, what do you need from regulators and government now? Uh, there's two things I need. I need to stop all the global stimulus when it comes to payroll. We just have so much of a labor shortage. We need people to come back to work and not stay uh, idle at home. We need them severely because we're going to have demand coming back. Uh, we need vaccination to be rolled out because we know it's functioning. So for God's sake, let's make sure that 80% plus of each population gets to be vaccinated. We need, therefore, the frontiers to reopen. We need us, a hospitality player, to preserve any protocols, sanitary we put together. Let's keep them. It's just reassuring. So I need uh, greater agility, greater flexibility, and I need to know when I can cross a frontier without seeking permission. So uh, vaccination is good enough. PCR tests, all that kind of uh, additional demand that's very cumbersome uh, so i need clarity that's what i need if we take a look at how your product needs to change the, immensely yeah and I, i'm very the room needs to change the meeting venues need to change but what would you say how are you going to manage that what's what's your thinking the first thing the fascinating thing about the industry we saw we also have here about 1.5 billion travelers international and it's been growing five percent for the last 30 years but we have 7.5 billion people working, I mean, living on this planet, for God's sake. So we're missing 6 billion. Some of them, of course, are domestic uh, clients of yours. But there's hundreds of millions of people who live next door to your hotel. They know the brand. They know the location. They never dare to enter because we never catered for them. So the remote we work and the, to be able to work remotely, I can guarantee you those hundreds of millions could enter your space, probably spend some money, spend three or four hours. And you know what the good thing about I it? I'm so happy. Then you're not depending on any search engine. You're not depending on any booking.com Expedia of the world because that guy knows the existence of your hotel for the last 20 years. It is next door to him. So that's a direct walk-in clientele, exactly what I was looking for, and it's coming. How about luxury? The luxury market is growing, and you've been weak in the past. Fairmont has a Savoy and Swiss hotel that we bought uh, five years ago from the Qataris and Prince Alwadi. Uh, of course, Raffle Singapore is probably one of the top three hotels on this planet. We're doubling the Raffles network, go to the one in Warsaw, it's a wonderful property. We're going to be opening an incredible Raffles Hotel in London, which is also going to be top three in the world for the old war office, where Sir Winston Churchill had his uh, office with the Minister of War. So it's, uh, it's a beginning of ACO is getting bigger, deeper, faster in the luxury space in which we're being weak for 30 years, but for the last 10 years, I can tell you, it's already 50% of Accor. So let's go. It's, uh, it's, uh, that segment is a segment not to, be, not to be forgotten, and that segment is uh, res capable of responding, responding to a lot of rich and not rich people. For a man who's had revenues destroyed last year, who had yes. to raise a large amount of money, you seem energized and as if you've got the bit between the teeth. My dear Richard, if I was not energized as a CEO of a large corporation, I should change up or they should get me out. I am here to get people from where they are to where they've never been. I need to give them comfort. I need to them, give them pride. I need to give them a direction. I may change roads from here to my end destination. 
but they need to bear with me. They need to feel they're being on board and they need to feel the energy. So, and ACO has been moving for the last 50 years. I can tell you, we've never been as robust as today, never ever. What have you learned? I think I've asked, I think I've asked you this before, but I, I keep wanting to understand the CEO mindset. Yeah. <laughs> Forget the team. What have you learned about yourself now? Uh, one word, humility. I've learned that I didn't know much. I've learned that I need to share that I did not know much. Uh, I've learned to reflect uh, on who I was personally, who I am professionally, what I'm good at, and I've learned on guiding people in those muddled waters, which is why incarnation is super important. Plus for me, I'm addressing 300,000 people in 110 countries. They need me more than ever. So, which is why we've been putting a lot of actually AIDS packages. It's reassuring being a guide, even though you're blind. Uh, and I admit you're blind, but whatever you know, share it, communicate. We've been communicating every day, every two weeks, even though I didn't say much. But showing that I guess I was there at the helm, that's what I'm, uh, this is what I'm meant to do.